Corruption in the defence and security sector is dangerous, divisive and wasteful, but 70% of governments aren't doing enough to prevent it. This is a global problem that wastes billions of dollars every year and can cost lives. The Transparency International Defence Team works with governments, defence and security ministries, armed forces, defence companies and civil society worldwide to tackle this problem. We train defence officers in anti-corruption, we advocate for reform and we do innovative research. Wherever we go, we're asked the same questions by government and civil society. Where do we stand compared to other countries? Are reform efforts working? To answer this question, we developed an index that measures corruption risk in defence and security establishments and ranks countries on a scale from A to F. We wanted to find out what governments were doing to lower the risk of corruption in their defence establishments and how they do it. We wanted to give people the knowledge they need to advocate for and carry out reform in this sector. Not a single country gets a perfect score. In fact, we found that 70% of countries have a high risk of corruption in defence in the areas of political, financial, personnel, operations and procurement risk. Scrutiny and informed debate on defence issues are vital. Legislators must be able to hold defence institutions to account, but 45% of countries have minimal mechanisms for this scrutiny and 50% lack oversight of intelligence services. Unnecessary secrecy is often found in defence, particularly in how defence activities are financed. 70% of countries don't tell the public the percentage of defence spending on secret items and 45% don't even provide that information to legislators. Personnel that act with integrity are at the heart of preventing corruption. In general, scores were highest in this area, but one result surprised us. 90% of countries don't have legislation to protect whistleblowers. Too often, troops know that if they blow the whistle, they blow their chance of promotion. Military operations, where troops are deployed in complex and challenging conflict and peacekeeping situations, are one of the highest areas of corruption risk. But our index finds that the vast majority of countries don't have doctrine to guide troops, and only 10% deploy personnel to monitor corruption in operations. Purchasing arms and equipment is complex and needs strict controls to prevent corruption, but 40% of countries don't have adequate oversight mechanisms. Half of countries don't publish details of the financing package, which shows exactly how the arms being bought are paid for. With 70% of countries scoring D or lower in the Government Defence Anti-Corruption Index, and only two countries, Germany and Australia in the top band, it's clear that much more needs to be done. We hope that this index will help defence leaders and citizens build integrity in this high-risk sector.